What's good, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of The DJ's Take. I'm Donnie. And I'm James. And on this show, we talk about the music industry from a fan's point of view. Donnie, what are we talking about today? Today, we are going to be discussing and debating the greatest Super Bowl halftime performances. Yeah, with Ushers coming up, we figured we'd highlight some of the Super Bowls from the past. Absolutely. Here. What do you want to address first? Should we go from like five to one? Five to or one. Or one to five? One no, to we'll do five to, five five to, to one. one. And But just take it with some discretion. We won't go into much detail with the people that are five to one. Five okay? to one. Okay. So five to one for me, uh, five is going to be Coldplay. Coldplay coming in with... He, he doesn't realize that Coldplay was with Beyonce and Bruno oh, Mars. Oh, Bruno so Mars. So put your chin back, okay? Sorry. Get, fix, that po- fix that posture. Slow. <laughs> there we go. So. Uh, oh, that was formation. That's so when Beyonce that was, was one of the greatest Super Bowl halftime performances, but it can't be number one because they received help. I'm all for it, though. If you can't do it by yourself, call call help immediately. Call Beyonce, yeah. Bruno. That's so, that's. Yeah, I give them credit for understanding where they fell short, and them addressing it. You could be Justin Timberlake, so. Yeah, super fair. Which let's address someone. Let's address that. Oh no, we'll we'll address it further when we get oh, down we'll the list. Down. I, yeah, we'll address it because okay. he's not on the top five. Surprise. Number five for me is gonna go with Katy Perry. Oh, and number five, Katy. Yeah, yeah okay. because number one, it was the most viewed Super Bowl. At the time, I think that she's just a dynamic entertainer for a pop star. Um, she's always, when you know it's a Katy Perry production, you know it's going to be a production full mm-hmm. scale. The budget's going to be fat. And she has the undeniable hits. I mean, she's she was on top. That's crazy. On top. So like, for me, she was number four. So I can touch on it. Okay. Also, she's just, Katy Perry is spectacular. And it comes from her stardom in her song she wrote hits mm-hmm. basically on one album wrote so many hits and so many it, those hits alone it, she just sings them and that's the crazy thing about her super performance that rated me me rate her so high because i'm like okay what well, does lady gaga decide to be deserve to be there mm-hmm. but the difference is katie perry can sing sing mm-hmm. and which gaga can too she yeah just- but no she's not singing like at the end, when she's doing her, so oh, hey, mom and dad, and she's singing, mm-hmm. singing, it's not no firework. Like, Katy yeah. Perry's going up to the rafter, fireworks are happening, mm-hmm. and it's not like Katy Perry can dance her butt off. Mm-hmm. This is props, and it's, it's just fun. And you got she, the beach balls coming. She's just enjoying herself, and it's just, you want to be there. And yeah, when she brought out Missy Elliott, that Ooh, just I forgot about that. And out. then Lenny. She yeah. brought out Lenny. And no. it was just, I was just like, she understands. See, she's the, one of the people that understands that her performance aspect might fall under a little bit. So let me bring an MC who is going to rock the crowd. And when you do that, it gives you time to set up or come in another outfit instead of being in one outfit the entire time. It is about changing it up. And she was smart for getting Missy because that gets another audience who's not maybe doesn't doesn't care about Katy Perry, but now they're interested. Even though I don't think there's one audience in this world who isn't screaming California girls. It's facts. It's facts. I was like, wow. It's facts. It's facts. She is a crossover artist. California girls. Well, you did your fourth, so now I got to do my fourth. My fourth is J-Lo and Shakira. Okay. Um, because theirs was unexpected for me because I don't I'm not necessarily like a huge J Lo person even though she's one of the greatest performers yeah, of all time. I agree with you. But I think it's because there was two of them doing it that it was entertaining mm-hmm. from the second it came on to the second it ended. They milked it for everything it was worth. I was like it. I was like you guys are killing it right so, now. Like regarding them the performance aspect is as good as it can get mm-hmm. like i was like wow like they're killing it how when she just flat out j lo broke out into a salsa <laughs> just and flipped the, i said so, snap what Katy perry lacks is what they have in excess of but what Katy perry has is what they don't have and to me. Okay, and Gaga let's say that because I understand, and the you know, in the Hispanic community, or you know, in South America, and, and it was in Miami. She is she is overall, mm-hmm. but I'm saying they didn't have that teenage dream last Friday night, uh, uh, roar, all those songs that made it. Like Jenny on the block came on and we're like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, oh, here we go, you know. But it wasn't like I, I know this song. I know this song. Oh, I can play along. 
You get what I'm saying? So I also just appreciated them because they were they're like in their forties. I think Jayla might have been in her fifties, yeah. and they were moving more than these young twenty year old girls. Man. They were getting it. They were, they were absolutely it. killing it. I was impressed. Shout out to all the Karens at home that were mad because they were naked. Um, what were you expecting? It's entertainment. <laughs> it's Shakira. Get over <laughs> it's it, J Lo. Like, what do you expect? Yeah, get over it. But you I could have turned the TV too. off. <laughs> Next would be third for me. Mm-hmm. Um, third for me is Bruno Mars. Mm. Um, and this one honestly was before Bruno Mars was the Bruno Mars we know. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Like he does a little bit glitch and glamour. He's getting it, but we're talking about Bruno Mars. Like when he performed at Beyonce and Coldplay, that mm-hmm. was Bruno Mars. Mm-hmm. That is Mister. I'm going. I'm going off. Call me MJ. That's how like witty he was. But that performance, it, it the reason why I put that performance high is because the man was singing, man. He was. He was singing, and he was he moves that crowd. Like this is before he was dancing, dancing, and he was just moving the crowd. That man is a, a showsman, and it and it shows. So yeah, it that's is. why I rate it high. Number three for me is recent bad gallery because, and I know what you're making that face for. It's because. It was mediocre. I was very mediocre. I expected way more. And I understand that she's pregnant, but I was just like, why did you do it when you were pregnant? I'm not going to give you a pass because yeah. you were pregnant. Um, like, if you were pregnant and you you could have said you were pregnant. You saw Cardi B at Coachella. Yeah. She was getting it pregnant. Exactly. She, I'm not going to give. I think at the end of the day, in my opinion, it comes out to heart and laziness. You don't come out you don't produce with a product in the Super Bowl, the biggest stage in the world. Um, I'm not going to give pregnancy uh, an excuse. But here's why I will give her number three is because she's like Jay Z, the person that found her, coolest person in the room, dog. Like she's just swaggy. Yeah. Like the whole thing, she's just like chilling, like and laughing, like what's up, y'all, <laughs> to chilling. Me. And then undeniable, more than anybody we're gonna mention today, the most hits of anybody that can ever st- is will ever touch that yeah. stage. Every song is like a hit, hit. Hit. It was back to back, however, to back. And she left. I saw a tweet that said she could have done a whole Super Bowl performance of the hits that she didn't perform. Like she just has it's true. hits. It's true, but be, I feel like before I feel like it's, it, it does a disservice because she didn't perform. Honestly, she really didn't do well when it comes to performance, and that's what, what was upsetting. And then even what was going on behind her even wasn't the most appealing. I've seen. I think I would put. I like the stages though. Put, the rising and lowering stages. That was hard. Yeah, if I wasn't going to do Bruno, it looked like Smart Smash Bros. If you ever played it, so but, <laughs> it did. It but, did. It did. It did. But if I wasn't going to put Bruno as number three, it would have been Prince. Prince would have got it before Rihanna. Simple. Prince performed. I just butt off. He and did. I'm not the biggest Prince fan, but man, Cancel. him on that guitar. You and you talk he about Taylor Swift. You're like, oh, she does a strum. That man was getting it do not even say her name next to prince but number two number two for me is michael jackson Ooh. um it's crazy because like you would think he would be higher however there's some flaws i found in michael jackson's performance such as there's times where the crowd was just so loud he just sat there and stared at the camera for two minutes like this mm-hmm. and everybody went nuts and it was the highlight of their year highlight of the century he went he went and then when he did perform mm-hmm. you can't touch him however i've seen michael jackson in his concerts do better than his super bowl performance so i can't give it number one and then at the end if you watch it um like kill the world comes on make mm-hmm. it a better place and it, he's really not doing anything. he's just a bunch of kids they're singing their kumbaya which i commend him because he took time out of hit the, one of the biggest stages in the world and said, I want to highlight what's going on with war and stuff. Can we have peace? Can we show love? So he gets he gets credit for that. But the performance aspect, he killed it for his five, six minutes that he performed. Mm-hmm. Best to ever do it. But it didn't go on forever. I think for me, number two is going to go to the queen, Beyonce. And it's because... You're outside your mind. It's because, one, Beyonce, and this was before Coachella and things, Beyonce knows what the people want. And... Yeah. Every Super Bowl performance that I, I've watched, they don't know what the people want. I'm hoping Usher does this year, but she brought out Destiny's Child. She brought she performed the hits. So it was the it was the technology was so advanced for at the time. The screens, her dancing with the with the multiple background singers dancing. 
The performance was killer. Her rising with the speech going on, sitting down, following into crazy in love. It just was everything. So I'm mad at him, and I feel like he was he's so disrespectful uh, regarding this Super Bowl performance because I have it as number one. I think it was the greatest Super Bowl performance ever. <laughs> and it's <laughs> she is just a master, man. She pays so much attention to detail. <laughs> And the reason why she gets the highest honor is she gives her fans what they want when they want. She shared her spotlight with Michelle and Kelly and they killed it. Queens. You are, you know, so you got it. She does everything right. And then her performance, man. See, that's why I couldn't put Michael Jackson number one, mm -hmm. because unlike her, every minute she was getting it now i will have to say we're reversed i put michael number one and i'll be openly and i'll admit it i'm a biased guy i just think it's because he's so like i have to judge on a skew because i'm like if if that man was doing it now <laughs> it would have been lit but back then he shot up on the screen a fake dummy one. <laughs> it was crazy yeah wasn't it? and then the I other one was shot stunt up. double though it was I, okay, it was a stunt double. i don't think he's getting there that yeah, quick. No, I just no. sure. I, as a kid I was, can you oh imagine he's running yeah. <laughs> No, but I'm just like, that was so dope. I liked when they all the crowd held up the kids across the world. It was just so innovative for the time. So I know so, I'm judging. I'm being biased. I so know that. That's but why sure. I couldn't put it number one because and I was like, it is biased and it's not fair because Beyonce had all the technology. And that's all one thing I did want to highlight why I didn't put Michael first. He was before ahead of his time. And when he did perform, he outperformed Beyonce by a lot. Like if you yeah. go watch, like the man was getting it. And I was like, yeah. oh my goodness, this is why he's the king. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it's great because I was like watching it and I was like, man, because I watch like, Chris Brown's my favorite artist, and yeah. I was watching. I was like, there's a reason why nobody is this man. He is that man. And uh, Tim, do you want to do an honorary mention of your favorite? Because he has one that's wild to me. me. That. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, it's just so <laughs> wild to me. What episode was that that he said that? Yeah, I forget. I forget it what it was, but he wild. said it. Wild. It was definitely an Usher one. It was an All right. Usher one. Because so, I said. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to quickly go through my top five. So at five, and. and I'm gonna preface my comments by saying what makes me choose a halftime show and love a halftime show is as much as the performance more so than the performance to me is i have to love the music okay. i have to that's love fair. the music so that's why i have a tough time choosing people like beyonce people like bruno mars because as much as i respect them i don't really fool their music that much I will say though that I'm opposite though with that because I'm I go into it open minded. That's why J Lo and Shakira uh, got to. Do you do you see how I think I'm fancy saying Shakira? Yeah, I, see it. <laughs> I, I heard the accent. I'm rolling his arms. <laughs> I'm taking Duolingo, um, but I I'm open minded to it because I'm like, what are you gonna give me? And then I judge it from that okay. from that. So I I will say that's different from mine, but I can respect that. Okay, so yeah, so. With that being said, uh, number five, I have The Weeknd. I love the music. Like, I never realized how many hits my man had until he did the halftime show. I, I love the concept of uh, how he was on uh, on the field. I love the music. Boo. I know. I know. Like Horrible. I said, it's just, me. Boo. it's just me. I liked it. And number four, I had Rihanna. Again. Banger after banger after banger after banger. It was like I was at a concert, like which is really all I care about. All okay. the theatrics and all that stuff don't mean nothing if your songs ain't good to me. And then at number three, I got the Black Eyed Peas. Boo! Trash. I I I don't care what y'all say. I thought that was fire. I don't care what y'all say. Black Eyed Peas just stood there and performed. They literally stood on a stage and sang. I I like. Fergie and the, what the the national anthem. Oh, yeah, man, no worries. Yeah. Yeah. They stood on the stage and, and performed. Yeah. But go ahead. I understand. I understand though. Your time. It's your uh, time. I don't know. I don't know if they watched the entire field. Like the whole hundred yards was taken up with people with lights, and it was dark and everything. <laughs> Ooh, and not people cool, with man. lights. It they was did cool. call Usher to help. So anyway, and at number one, uh, number two, I have Dr. Dre. Okay. That was fire. I, that's coming up. In I wanted to put mention. one of them as an honor, yeah, yeah. honorable mention. Then yeah. Pyramid Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah, mention. yeah. 
we'll yeah, get Dr. Into Dre, that. he, man. I'm curious to see what All the, the track after track after track after track, mm-hmm. and all the people that were with him, you know, the Eminem and 50 and Mary J and all them guys. Come on, yeah. And then at number one, Michael Jackson. Okay. Obviously. Yeah, I knew it. Michael Jackson, number one music i want to hear every single song at the beginning the first five minutes of the performance i'm hanging on every move this guy's doing i don't even know which one's the real michael jackson is michael jackson over here is michael jackson over there where's michael jackson especially back then in the 80s you're like this is crazy honestly and then finally he pops up and pop up he just stand there for what seven years or something like (laughs) and then and the whole, I mean, he had the entire stadium and millions watching at home in the palm of his hand. One man. He didn't need nobody. No, he no co-sign. Yeah. He needed no other people to step in. Just him. He's a goat. Could have showed love to Tito, Randy, and Jermaine and them, but, you know, I understand. Or Janet, even. Yeah, he said, like, none of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't nobody. Which, which. Well, Janet ja- had her own. Which, I was about to say, let's Jackson highlight, must let's highlight easy. Janet Jackson's. Can you believe how controversial that was? Did I say that right? Yeah, had, <laughs> Did you believe how scandalous that was? Yeah. Like, and, Justin Timberlake, he's, his Super Bowl record is not great. Yeah, it's not great not at great. all. And this was his time to redeem himself. And he just did awful. Can you, he actually um, could have had the most iconic Super Bowl of, Iton, of all time. Bring back Janet. Bring back NSYNC. He would have been out of yeah, here. Yeah, he fumbled the bag. He would have been out of here. Instead, he wore a camo looking like he's about to go hunting. <laughs> Some Nikes. <laughs> and perform his album that was wiggity whack. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, Tim, I do got to address the weekend. It wasn't that. No. It was too much going on. Ugh. Not enough him power. Um, also, honestly, he's not if legendary. I at, if I was at the Super Bowl, I actually would have been mad because he goes away for a minute and the cameras is on him showing him running through some golden mm. maze and then he's on the field. Which the just, field you, you know how he should have started? It? He should have started it on the field. That would have made it more fire. Um yeah, I think he I think he relied more on theatrics. And then on top of that, if I'm listening to Weekend, I'm there for the vocals. And it just seemed my auto tune was on the mic like crazy and he wasn't performing to me. So it's a it's a I just went through the list, you know what I'm saying? And I, I just to give me a quick refresher and I was like, Okay, Rolling Stones, no. Lady Gaga, I don't really care about her music like that. Maroon Five, I don't care about the music like that. Jennifer and Shakira, they was pretty good, but like again, they got like two songs that I like. You two don't like Bruno Mars. Don't like how? Like I just don't like his music. He's how? a knockoff. He hates. He's he a hates knockoff Bruno phony Mars. Version of of my man. Uh, he of, always all says greats from back in the no, day. No, he his biggest beef in life is that he's like Bruno Mars is just a carbon copy of the past. And I'm like, yeah, shout out to being great. Be so happy that Lloyd sounds like Michael. So yeah, you gotta pick I'm a like, side. Shout out being great. You know, he's like, oh Lloyd sound like the next Michael. Like okay, why can't Bruno sound like the next Michael? And because Bruno, but, but you like doesn't the weekend. Do it well. But you like the weekend. <laughs> Bruno is probably one of the best in the game. When it comes to singing, I don't understand. I can't get your point there, but to each their own. He just kind of, I don't know. I, I just don't, the I don't vibe with doesn't? it. I don't vibe now, with question. It. Saying, but The weekend doesn't? He, the weekend is different. He's like creepy and and, and, and stuff the way he talks. You know what I mean? He's like, <laughs> question though. <laughs> he, he, he like weird. You don't know what he like. He's mis- yeah, okay. question know? That's though. Why the girls like him. He's mysterious. Uh, In regards to the Dr. Dre, uh, uh, Super Bowl halftime show. The only thing that I don't like is almost every single person could have had their own. And I feel like definitely Eminem, definitely I Kendrick. Think, I think like, that, they I think definitely the should have had their they own. Took, they took it, they accepted to go on there with Dr. Dre was a bad move. Um, I would have said no until I got my own. Definitely if I'm Eminem. Yeah. If I'm 50, now, if I was I'm Mary, even though I love Mary, Mary I would Yeah, you better take what you can. Um, but but no, I'm saying no. No, but none of them are going to say no because they all owe their careers to Dr. Dre. Hey, but so if we ask them, they're going to say it's yeah. almost to the point where it's the Super Bowl's fault. The Super Bowl should have had. Don't say Eminem. Super Bowl, Jay Z. Yeah, but it should have been Jay Z. No, yeah, at Jay Z. It should have been like Eminem headlining. It should have been Fifty Cent headlining, and then they, then like Dr. Dre came out for one of them. It shouldn't yeah. have been his. I'm yeah, sorry. like I still 
say DJ they Khaled better give next, huh? they better give Kendrick one. Ooh, that'd be a way way for Chris Brown to get on it. Which is what we want. Usher needs to pull Chris Wait, Brown. Wait, let's do let's do honorary mentions and we'll say who we want to do it in the future. So honorary mentions. I'm gonna shout out Diana Ross for being iconic and coming up in the helicopter. That was hard, hard, mm-hmm. hard, hard. I agree. Honorary mention Lady Gaga. I thought hers was pretty okay. Yep. Honorary mention to Janet Jackson. Hers is definitely iconic and infamous. And yep. those are mine. You have any honorary mentions? Honestly, you hit all of them that I had as my honorable mention. Um, I think Prince would be the only yeah, next honorable mention I had, but I mentioned him early in the episode. So, yeah. yeah, that's it. Also, shout out to the year that it was like a lot of people. It was like uh, Patti LaBelle, Britney Spears, Tony yeah, Braxton. Yeah, that was hard. I love that. All that, that was awesome. Yeah. That was really awesome. Nelly, like, I was awesome. Yeah, I loved that one. But like somebody like Nelly should have his own also. Like, it's just 100 like, million. It's just, they're missing their mark. And we're getting to the point which we're going to go into the next topic, the like future. They missing, they're missing their mark. Like we're not, we don't even have that many performers, bro. No. We got how many more years to go? And you're taking icons and saying, "Hey, you get two minutes with Dr. Yeah. Dre." No, fifty. So give him a set next year. Give Nelly a set in the next year. You see, Usher went and went did with the Black Eyed Peas. Now he's here doing himself. But guess what? The mystique is gone. Like we we seen it. He was at the Super Bowl. Although Usher's star is shining brighter than the sun right now. Yeah, like, he's doing well. Like he's definitely. So what I'm gonna say is Super Bowl Jay Z. We have to do better. And when I say we have to do better is we need to stop getting behind the politics and we need to let the best of the best do what they do. I think it's been Chris Brown has to come up and Chris Brown has to shut it down. If we all die before we see Chris Brown perform at the Super Bowl, we are doing us all a disservice. It'll never happen. He is the greatest, one of the greatest performers next to uh, Beyonce and Michael Jackson to ever grace this earth. It'll never happen. I don't understand why, because we have 50 Cent, who's a gangbanger. We got Dr. Dre, who, who was in altercation. Snoop Dogg we doing the crib. Snoop Dogg, who literally <laughs> dodged the murder charge. Let's stop being politically correct with everything or play, the, play it both sides, okay? Go ahead, Tim. Here's the thing. Most of these people have been asked at some point in their life. They've all said no. Uh, so many people have said no to. Be, be, I would have to look up the list because I really don't. Know. Yeah, a lot of people have said no over the years, including your girl Taylor Swift. She said yeah, no she multiple done, times. She did that because of her so. albums re-recording them. She yeah, didn't that would get st- money and power to Scooter Braun. So now yeah, that, that when she, whenever she, well, I think she got Reputation and she got one more her her self debut her album Taylor album. Swift. And then after that, you best believe she's taking it. And then it's probably going to be one of the biggest Super Bowl performances ever. No question. I just wonder what she'll she couldn't perform. have done it because she, she was Coca Cola. It just came back. To guys, you. guys, I got one guy real quick. I got one person. What about if they have Weezy F Baby do that? <sighs> Bruh, think about all. I don't love about, him as a performer though. No, no, no. But here's the no, thing. You, no, 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 it doesn't you, matter. You, you, you get you're people missing, around him. You're missing the point. Or something, but missing that's the point. Think about Drake. Think about the people he can bring out Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Tiger. Woo! Nicki Minaj should do her own. Bird, she man. It's she needs coming. to do her own, but it's she definitely. better not just be laying down on no stage. Yeah. She better not be laying down on no piano. <laughs> I better see some He can even bring out Bow Wow. Keep, uh, keep he can bring Minaj out everybody. Everybody's away. been a part of Young Money Cash Money. Facts. It's going to oh, be crazy. You love them. What did you think about Maroon 5s? Garbage. <laughs> Hot garbage. Get them out of here. Except- I better never see y'all perform at a Super Bowl again. And I've been at concerts y'all did better than that. That's upsetting. Backstreet Boys. Bring them. Yeah. Book it. Book it. Are you and crazy? Book it. Yeah. That's one of our people back there saying no, and he don't know what he's talking about. Them boys got it. Clayton, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I'll talk to you after the show. <laughs> I'll talk to you after the show. He's, t- he's disrespecting people that have sold two albums with million dollar first week. And can I say, I also respect. So the most the most streamed, the, big, the biggest boy band ever to like grace this earth. He's saying no. Yeah, he's crazy. But I will say. Would I, you like Boys the Men? <laughs> Would you like to put boys the men up there? We all go into bed. No, night, but night. speaking of that, speaking of that, I'm glad that you said that because I do respect the artists who understand that they have the clout to go on, but they know that they're not what we want to see. Performers. Like Adele. Like, I love that. She said, I would never do that. I'm not a performer like I that. Wish, I hope she I was like, I respect that. No. Well, no. I think it could be. No. I don't know. Even though, and I love Adele. Maybe we can Adele, I love Adele. But I just don't think I would want to see her standing on the stage. I want to see her in Vegas. I want to see her in Vegas. But I can nah. agree. I can. I guess I can agree. Now we'll end on what. Are, what's our predictions from Usher? What do we want to see from him? And what do we think will? Uh, what? How do you think he'll do? I think there's no in between. 
I feel like it's going to either be bad or it's going to be amazing. And I'm kind of scared because I really want him to succeed with this. I want him to kill it, man. I really do. But I, I think he has it in the tank. I think he just came off for a wonderful, successful residency. So I think he already knows really what people like. Um, but we just got to see if old man knees are still working. I think he's going to murder it because I think he knows. He knows. Like, he knows what this is. Like, he is a performer. Like, performer. My career depends on it. He loves <laughs> it. He loves it. He breathes it. He's, he takes his time. I saw he's not drinking for like months leading into it. And I think he's going to bring the people out. I think he's going to bring, bring out. Honestly. I, think, I really I, feel like Usher has like his career is just of his own honestly. it is of his own but i think he's gonna bring out guests like to just come out and, yeah, and have fun i think talking. he might That'll bring out breezy i just think chris is too controversial meaning like as to do it by himself because i think people are going to overwhelmingly backlash it like overwhelmingly it boycott overly it. black back you know get back but and everything just but, call it a day. If it's the lowest rating Super Bowl performance, then it hey, will be. It happens. And there will be mo moms outside. But then um, uh, I think he'll bring out Alicia Keys. I think he'll bring out um, like a random rapper or so. I don't think it's worth just bringing those people out. Like Alicia Keys and Little John, Ludacris. Little yeah. John, Ludacris. I feel like. I think he'll definitely bring out Little John. Tim, Tim will lose his who, mind. Who else would there really be? Like his, all his hits are really by himself. I think he's going to bring like. Oh, he might bring out Summer, Summer Walker. Mm -hmm. Good, good. I just think he should do it on his own. He honestly. won't. He won't. I, I can almost bet. He, he's already said, oh, yeah. yeah. We got something happening with people. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Usher I, is beloved by the whole industry. So I think they'll do, always do it. I think John Cook is coming out. That would be a good look. Remember when you said BTS and Usher that... They I know. Then the next week, we'll <laughs> <this up. laughs> we'll check out this up. Check out our Usher versus Chris Brown uh, episode if you haven't. Let's check that out. This is just more fuel to the fire. Shout out to Chris. All right, guys. Well, let us know in the comments who are some of you guys' favorites and what's your predictions for Usher. I'm sure we will be back reviewing Usher's Absolutely. full detail Can't in wait. all its glory. And on that note, I'm Donnie and I'm James, and this has been another episode of the, the DJ's, DJ's Take. Take.